Look. Don't bite me. Oh, Chachak, you've made my Sunday. And look at this. How iconic is that? The Stadlerlands, Roman baths. We had hill climbs, we had churches, we had bike races, Serby dogs, we had pregnant cats, we had an abandoned crack den. Seems like this is the way in. Right, hi everyone, and welcome to mid-August in Serbia. And clearly summer is over. Brilliant. It looks like today's gonna be a wet video, but you know, after last year in Serbia, remember Nova Sad and Sombor? Total wetness. I can do it, it's fine. I'm just at the bus station in Chachak, which is our location for this video, and I've just seen something amazing. Hang on. Sorry, I'm such a Cyrillic alphabet geek, especially in Serbia. Autobuska Stanica Chachak. And look at that sign up there. You might have noticed I've had air cut. Well, I did it myself. Um, anyway, I'm staying in Ujice at the moment, as you may know from past videos. And Chachak is about an hour and 15 minutes away on the bus from Ujice. It's past of Chadavania, where we were in the last video, in the Ovjarsko Kabalaska Glisora, the gorge, the amazing place with all the monasteries. And if there's one thing I've made a career out of over the years, it's coming to seemingly average, drab towns and cities across the world with supposedly nothing to do in terms of tourism and finding something top tier elite. A bit like Khrushchevats last year or Kragujevats. There are so many, right? So uh, let's explore. I'm in the central area of Chachak. There's a song, Chachak, Chachak, da, 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 da. I don't know the rest of the words, sorry. Um, but, <laughs> It's one that I always remember, and we've got a nice blue and red Chachak sign with a heart in the middle. Isn't that nice? I just sought refuge from the rain, and look what I've come across. Serby dogs. Hello, angels. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Hello. I can't whistle. Hello. stopped off in the centre. Hong Kong City Shopping Centre, that's a bit random idea. Brilliant, iced coffee and the rain has kind of stopped. I'm good to go. Right, let's go for a walk through the central area. There's a lot of very masculine men taking their clothes off behind me, brilliant. There's some sort of bike race thing, they're putting like bikes on top of their cars and stuff. Um, yeah, it looks like a typical Serbian city shopping street. There's a pizzeria, cafe. I said that in Spanish. <laughs> um, Dolce Vita, nice. Hotel Beograd. That's really nice, isn't it? There's some nice architecture here, I'm already seeing it. Look at that top bit, the green bit with the uh, the writing in Cyrillic on the top. Is that like a weather vane as well up there? I think so. And look at the door here as well, you've got this kind of globe. I'm assuming it's a light. And I love the lettering. You know, this is the sort of thing I love about Serbia. You get this really historic architecture everywhere even in cities which people say are ugly with nothing to do. Well, they're wrong. It kind of reminds me of Hotel Moskva in Belgrade as well with that green and the creamy yellowy color. Um, I was gonna say Khrushchevats last year, I said about the fact that it very much reminded me of where I'm from, you know, a small seemingly average town in West London in England. And I'm getting those kind of vibes in Chachak as well. You know, this cultural center over here looks exactly like on High Street in like the 80s and 90s. You know, this kind of gray and cream and beige 60s, 70s architecture, which um, I'm very familiar with. A lot of people think, oh, you're from London. And they conjure up ideas of, you know, Tower Bridge and Buckingham Palace. No, that's not London, that's tourist London. This is like real suburban London on the outskirts, you know? Seemingly miserable residential buildings with 
a quite interesting top bit. Look, up there. It's a little bit different to the rest. And I know that people from Chachak will probably be watching this thinking, Chachak? It's a boring dump, that's where I'm from. But, you know, I am looking at it from a foreigner's eyes, you know? We've got awesome street art over here. You see this a lot in Serbia. You should say there's loads of it. Often it's um, like basketball or um, football players because I believe there are many famous sportsmen who come from Chachak. Aha, Rimski Terme, Roman baths. That's what I was looking for. Let's go. Hopefully I'll begin to dry off soon. If you are thinking about saying, why do you come out on rainy weekends to film? Well, firstly, I have a job. Um, secondly, um, this is Europe. Serbia is in Europe. And just like the rest of the continent, it rains a lot, all right? This isn't Northern Mexico or Brazil, you know? <laughs> so you just have to live with it. Post office. Well, I think the Roman baths are up that way, but first, Spomenik alert, monument. Not sure who this is, to be honest. Let me know in the comments. 1956, oh, sorry, 1856 to 1925, that's when he lived. You see Spomenik's everywhere in Serbia. They are truly iconic. There's loads of them actually in Chachak. We're gonna check some out later. Ah, here we go. Baths. And we've got a map. Open Tuesday and Thursday, free entrance. It's Sunday, but the gate's open. This is my kind of place. Graffitied concrete buildings. Let's have a look. I think there's a restaurant next to me. I can hear voices and plates smashing. Roman baths. Wowzers. We have info. There were private and public baths, room with hot water pool, exercise room, changing room, and a little map. It was only discovered in the 1970s and excavated then. Some of the finds have been coins dating back to 89 AD. Cool. They've got these Roman baths next to this concrete grey monolith of a residential building. Clearly there's a lot of history in Chachak, which I knew because I read about it. But <laughs> not just Roman, but of course everything else in relation to this region of Europe. Byzantine, Ottoman Empire you name it. I'm assuming that someone forgot to lock the door on Thursday. More likely though, this is Serbia and no one really gives a shit about things like opening hours. Anyway, let's go. Oh, it's the library. That guy is Vladislav Petkovic, who is a famous poet from Serbia. And I mean, it doesn't look like much, but this is a, like a new building. I think there was a original building on the site of this one. Biblioteca, oh, another, another language where Library is biblioteca. What was English thinking about? Library. Grad Chachak. I'm assuming this is the city hall. Also, another lovely building. Look at that bit up there. Oh, is this the gymnasium? I don't mean gymnasium as in the place where you get sweaty. I mean, as in like school. Look, 1837. I mean, really, this is top tier elite. If you like buildings and history. Church of the Ascension of the Lord. The word church in Serbian is another word which is similar to its equivalent in German, by the way. I'm in Chachak and I just said, oh wow, didn't expect that, did you? Look at this, how pretty, bird flying by. Wowzers, and the church seems to be open. What a stunner. Right, the sun's coming out and how appropriate because Chachak, you've made my Sunday, in fact, my whole week because that church was beautiful. You walk in, you've got this nice open area with the pews, do you call them pews? On the left and right as you get in Orthodox churches. And then you go further in, 
you've got this wonderful chandelier suspended from the ceiling and it's almost like a huge crown underneath it's like got this circular part and then the chandelier in the middle and then this other bit around the exterior and on the walls all around you and up to the ceiling as well you've got this lovely bright vivid pastel like colors surrounding you adorning the walls it is stunning serbia is amazing for religious buildings as we saw in the last video with monasteries churches can do it as well but of course they're on a slightly larger scale monasteries are small and compact but churches are a bit bigger oh i'm getting a bit hot now just in this nice little park down the road from the church and look at this how iconic is that ginormous mural of a kid with a robin on his shoulder with the obligatory cyrillic graffiti below I mean, that just personifies Serbia in my eyes. Here's a closer look. I'm enjoying Chachak. It's my kind of place. This is a really nice park. Gradsky Park, City Park. And look over here, you've got this really cool artwork. It's like a downed plane that has been taken over by the elements. Oh, it looks really bright on my camera. Can you see the texture of the building, which kind of adds to the texture of the paintwork? It looks like real. That's amazing. Apologies to Ujitsi, but I think I'd prefer Chachak. I mean, maybe it's because I've become so familiar with Ujitsi now. I don't know. And Chachak is somewhere different. It's probably that. In terms of Gradsky, we're seeing the word Grad a lot today. Uh, Gradat, that's the name of Chachak originally which means little town, I believe. And the name Chachak came into existence, I believe in the 14th century. And it comes from a word which basically means like small lumps of mud or rock, I believe, something like that. Um, the origins as always in this region of the world are a bit ambiguous given the history. We've got these interesting sculptures. There's a fountain back there, which um, isn't on. Um, lovely. This city very much reminds me of Riga in Latvia. Not quite sure why. I think it's because of the size of it and also the fact that Riga also has these parks where you can just go out for a walk, you know, with fountains and everything and it's all very peaceful. Ujitsu doesn't really have that. Yes, it's got the, the river Jetinja and the fortress and everything, but it's much smaller. And I think, yeah, I do prefer Chacha and great timing. The fountains start as I walk past. Thanks, Hans. We've got this slightly odd statue slash sculpture here. This naked woman who's clearly forgotten to wear some clothes, so she's understandably quite embarrassed. It looks a little bit like how members of the public look when I walk up to them with a camera. Oh my God, I've walked all the way around this park. Look, there's a swimming pool. I fancy a dip. There's another big pool over there. Um, I was gonna say, if you are a new person, yes, YouTube does sometimes recommend my videos to new people, believe it or not. This isn't a travel channel, you know, a typical one with a sexy YouTube couple with their tits out being sponsored by NordVPN. In fact, this isn't really about tourism. I guess it's about travel, but you know, I don't come to places for the travel aspect, as I've said. It's more about coming to a place and experiencing a different side of a country. If that means coming to a place where tourists don't generally come to, that's what I'll do. Just to clear that up. Look, you can get more England if you tried. Just on this bridge. There's even dog shit on the floor that someone hasn't cleaned up, brilliant. It's just normal Serbia, isn't it? No bells and whistles. I just whistled at these dogs. Big mistake. Hello, Angel. Don't bite me. Oh. The street art here is really cool. And in the distance there, you can see industry just like we saw in northern mexico in recent videos and what did i say there i said in every country there are industrial cities serbia is no exception and without industry there would be no country so don't talk shit about cities which are very industrial because they are a necessity i've walked all the way up here we've got another Dominic, there's a market over there, there are bakeries all over the place, kids hanging out with bikes. We're heading up, is it that direction or that road? I can't remember, I've got to look on the map. Look, it's a clapped out building, just my kind of thing. Oh look, it's a shithole. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing special. 
I wonder what this building was. Seems like this is the way in. Mm, well, it's not, but you know. But there's a well. There's a way. Oh, it smells of poo. Stunning. All right, let's go. Residential chow chack. We've got logs. We've got Zerby dogs. We've got children playing. We've got a nice quiet area. And it's all very nice. I mean, apart from that crack den back there. Oh, look at that house. Look, we've got old Zastava vans. Oh, shells, I should say. We're starting to see the view back there. Back to industrial Chachak. But we've got a long way to go. What's this all about? I've tried reading some of that, but honestly, my Serbian Cyrillic is not that good and there are a lot of letters missing. But it's total, like, concrete Spominic land, isn't it? Here's a close look for those of you who are fluent in Serbian, especially Cyrillic. I mean, I can read a lot of it, but the problem is, yeah, I can translate it into Latin alphabet, but then I don't know what those words mean. Double translation. There was a date on it, as you may have seen, October 1941. I'm assuming that's something to do with World War II. I could be wrong. But that could be apt because the place we're going also potentially has something to do with World War II. Oh God, there's another hill. This is real Serbian farm life. There's a guy there with a scythe. And I was just greeted by these two sheep. Hi, Hans. Again, this feels like England. Sorry to keep going on about England, but it's like Dorset where my grandmother used to live. It's like Devon, where my mum lives. Blimey, Nora. Look at the view. Isn't it amazing? Of course, this is Serbia, so I have been greeted by a beautiful fluffy angel meowing at me. Come on. Hello, Fluffington. Hello. I feel like I've got deja vu. This is the church of Neza Lazara, King Lazar. Do you remember him from Khrushchevats last year? There's the big statue with the ginormous sword where the old airport used to be. This little one has followed me all the way up the hill. Ew. Must be hungry. Come on, Angel. I can hear the purring. Let's check out the church. Nice, yeah, it's very similar to the one in Khrushchevats, except that one looked noticeably older. Honestly, I'm not sure about the age. Look at the wall. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that kind of texture before. It's almost like a sponge. I just trod on the cat. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming this has been renovated. I mean, it looks like it has been. I mean, clearly that door is not from the 1500s or whatever it was. I wasn't expecting it to be open. Let's take a look. Flabbergasted. That blue is like a deep royal blue. And again, you've got a similar gold thing around here with the circular bit up there. Just look at this. I mean, a lot of churches in the world can be quite drab, can't they? And quite dull and traditional. I mean, yes, this is traditional, but the colours just really set it apart. Okay, sorry for the cat content. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. But I think this beautiful angel is up the duff. I think she's got a bun in the oven. Well, numerous buns. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> as I said in um, Of Chorvania, there are these bell towers. And I just noticed they're... Yeah, they ring the bells from that. Ah yes, this is a memorial complex. I believe it's in relation, yes, to the first Serbian uprising. As far as I know, Liberation Wars. Yeah, one of them is about World War II, yeah, 1943. Names here, 41 to 45. 1918 again. And this one, 1815. So is that the Liberation Wars in Serbia? It's quite monolithic with a cross on it and I think there are kids playing football behind it. There's an incredible amount of 
respect in Serbia for the glorious dead, people who have died in various conflicts throughout time. Again, I've said it a million times, you know, Serbia has kind of changed hands so many times in terms of territory and everything, and who's in command of this area, if you know what I mean. I'm glad I managed to get in that church before being thrown out because that church and the other one have really made my day today. Like the colours are just mesmerising and unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, that's better. Later in the day, without any rain. Right, people, it's a couple of days later. My camera is balanced on a kettle, as always. I have a Lolita pizza, and my kitchen is a mess, but that's life. So, Chachak, I really enjoyed it, shockingly. For some reason, I think I had this idea in my head that it would be this dump, boring, grey hellhole area. I think purely because of what people had told me in the past about it. And I was going to go last year, but that was a reason why I was reluctant to go. Because I thought, well, what's the point? But actually, we discovered a lot. And it is a good example of a place I go to or a example of what this channel has kind of become in that I'll go to a place, not necessarily for the tourism aspect, like I said earlier, but to discover a town or city in a country which people don't normally go to thinking that it's a nightmare place but actually there is a lot on offer we had hill climbs we had churches we had bike races we had serby dogs we had pregnant cats we had an abandoned crack den everything you should have come to expect from my videos if you've been following for a few years and on that note people who have been following for a few years this is a ongoing storyline long-term character development moment. So you might know that in a few months I'm planning to move to Poland with my brand new Polish passport. And as I mentioned earlier, I am very familiar with Ujitsay. This is kind of a trial run and I am honestly beginning to question whether familiarity is something I want or do I want unfamiliarity or to, to continue with unfamiliarity. You can read into that how you want, how you like. Um, so, you know, I'll probably revisit this storyline at a later date in my final episodes, which by the way are coming in November. So Chachak, brilliant, loved it. I would definitely like to go back there again actually. The next video is from somewhere you may have seen on train shots, you know, in going between Ujitse and Chachak and off Czarbania, Pojega. Again, it's a small city, it's smaller than Chachak. I think, is it a town or a city? I can't remember, but potentially there'll be nothing there. Potentially it will be top tier elite. So um, that's that for today. See you next time. I'm gonna have my Peaks the thing, brilliant, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later.